I welcome you again to this episode of physical geography where we are still on the predicted questions. Question we are predicting to be asked in the next coming national exam. So the question of today is asking, outline three traditional methods of weather forecasting. Outline three traditional methods of weather forecasting. So I would like to remind you what weather forecasting means. When you talk of weather forecasting, refers to the prediction of the condition of atmosphere of a given place, uh, especially which is taken between 24 and 24 hours. Meaning that uh, the question is asking to give the traditional method of way of predicting the condition of atmosphere. So the modern day of today, we are using different instruments so as to predict the atmospheric condition but in the ancient time in the past time in the long time ago people were not using those instruments to predict the condition of atmosphere and we have this question is yet going to help us to understand is going to help us to know how the people in the ancient time were predicting when predicting the conditions of atmosphere so the point number one, the vibration of butterflies indicates it will rain. So meaning that in the ancient time when people were looking at butterfly migrating, they were indicating that such a such a events indicating that the rainfall was about to to rain. So therefore, it is a method. Then method number two, croaking, croaking of rats during dry season and get some set of rain. So meaning that uh, during dry season when frogs were croaking, so that event also was indicating that rainfall was about to fall. So meaning that it was also another method. Change in intensity of the amount of sunshine and get is going to rain. Even people nowadays are still even using this traditional method. Where well, you may find that the amount of sunshine is reducing and people start imagining that the rain is going to take place or it is going to rain. Which means in the ancient time, the people, when they grow, they were looking at the reducing of the amount of sunshine, they started imagining that it is going to rain. So therefore, it is a method. Another point Plants, another method, plants shedding leaves and get periods of, of, of drought and get the period of drought. So meaning that as normal as usual, just like you know, uh, during dry season, trees like to shed off their leaves. Trees like to lose their leaves, which means uh, when you look at trees when they are shedding their leaves, you start imagining that rainfall is going to soar. We are going to enter in a dry season. So therefore, even the people of today, we are still using that method of predicting the, the atmospheric condition by saying that when the plants start shedding their leaves, it, it indicates that period of dry season is going to come. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe subscribe and give comments so as to keep to keep on improving our teaching and running practice. Have nice time. Done.